Okay, so today we're going to look at another prototype game for the Mega Drive, and it's one that a lot of people wanted for years. It's Akira. Now, this game was quite heavily promoted and hyped before being released. Um, I know I, I was certainly excited for it. I mean, I, I loved and still do love Akira, the anime. It's it's an amazing animated feature. The story can be somewhat difficult to follow. It basically involves a government part featuring psychic children as a weapon. And, yeah. But this was going to be the Mega Drive game. This, you can currently select different levels. And I'll show you the first, one of the early ones here, Baltetsu and Kaneda, have um, levels set on a motorbike. As you can see, there's no enemies, there's no sound, there's just the game. You riding down the road on a motorbike. Now, it looks good at this point. Yes, I know there's no enemies, so there's no logic to be used, but it's the road movement is smoothly updating, it undulates nicely. The background has some really nice parallax to it. And I've got to be honest, the controls feel pretty good, quite responsive for what this is. Now, I don't know how long these stages go on for, but obviously with there being nothing to do and no one to fire, what I'm going to do is I will reset the emulator here, which means we can go the whole intro again because they've not enabled anything in the code so I need to skip any of this and we'll take a look at some of the other stages that are available in the game and I have to say I think this is a really attractive looking game you saw that racing stage then this intro sequence is really nice with its parallax digitized versions of the poster art it's a very famous poster iconic if you're of a certain age and the music sounds good. It has that very ethereal sound that they had in um, the film. Now here we go. Here's a Tetsuo level, which is a first person one. You can uh, walk around the corridors, see if we can find anyone here to attack. Yes, I can use my psychic mind powers to destroy an enemy. It's, it's pretty good. I can hear there's music on this level. You know, you can use your psychic powers to destroy pretty much anyone. You can turn around and have a good around. blocks but it's fun it's again it's different this game's trying something different so we'll do another quick reset scan through the intro again this is probably this prototype biggest flaw but what do you expect it's a prototype really i'm liking the music perfect for the game. They've recreated everything about the film really well. Now the other type of level that you play in this is a more traditional side-scrolling level. Yeah, it's always this one has music. Not every level in this has music. There's another um, Canada stage where there is not, as you can see, there's graphical errors here, the game is yeah, not really working at all at this point, as how you can tell it's unfinished, but it does look good and it still sounds good. Now, hey, there we go, right off the edge of the screen, and I'm back to punch another bad guy in the head. 
Hey. As you can see. Yeah. So this art level has music. Bought lots of graphical glitches. Let's see if I can bring up a side scrolling level that doesn't. I mean you could see what you could see there did look quite good and the animation looked good. That was that was key to me. I'm pressing all the buttons on my pad here and I'm getting nothing. So we go through this one more time. This music is going to haunt my dreams tonight. I know it will. Here we go. Let's go into the sewers. This all has no sound, no sound, but does have working graphics. As you can see, the the animation is quite good. In fact, I'd say the animation is excellent if I was going to be honest about it. Take out the bad guys. There's a couple of neat little things in she can disappear into the backgrounds. I didn't realise this at first. And uh, I'll find a little secrets, you know, I've got some extra ammo for my gun there, you know, it's a uh, it's a lot of wandering around in this game. But it's worth it. I think this would have turned out to be an excellent title had it been released. You know, had, had they finished it, had it been released, you know, you, you can feel there's the there's the bones of a really good game here. Yes, it's missing a few bits and pieces that you would expect from a game. You know, the music on every level, for example. But even in this unfinished state, you can see the promise the game had. And that's key. I've, I've played other unfinished games in the past, and they've been terrible. And I mean terrible. Just shockingly bad games. Ah, come here, you bugger. And there isn't much you can do with a shockingly bad game apart from say it's shockingly bad. It's just one of those sad things that this game, which showed so much promise, looked so good, never came out yet. You see some of the crap that did find its way onto the market and you just think, why? Who just who made these decisions and for what purpose? You know, there's games that shouldn't have been released that were, and then the games that did get released, and you know, games that didn't get released and should have been released, like this, like Akira. This is a brilliant game. This should have been released. It really should have. This would have been a really good game, but you know. Such are the vagaries of the industry. I do like some of the graphical effects here. I think using a little line scrolling effect for the uh, sewer water here at the bottom. Which is quite nice. I can see a bit of a glitch there at the top where it's overflowed into the top of the screen buffer. There we go. I've got some more ammo for my gun now. So hopefully I'll be able to... Yeah. Take some bad guys out with some bullets now. Yep. So there you go, folks. Akira for the Mega Drive. Never released, which was a shame. But uh, yeah, a great fun game nonetheless. So the, once again, this is Learned Rob saying so long. <laughs>